Kevin and I just wanted to talk about a few things that were going on that keep coming up. And um, I first, I know we've touched on this many times before, but we want to talk on best practices and integrity. Um, our team is growing. You know, I, I came into the company in January at number 300 and, um, you know, started from there and Kevin earlier than I did. And now we're up to five, 600, 700 people underneath us. And this thing is only going to get bigger. So I just, you know, in the last few days, I've had several messages from people that um, are in conversations with people coming into the company and have been for several months and then they might sign up with someone else. I just want, all on our team, I just want to encourage everybody to please, if if you mention it to a friend and they're already in conversation with someone, encourage them to sign up and continue the conversation with the person that introduced them to this company. That's what I do. That's what Kevin does. I definitely don't talk them into joining my team because it's better or I'm going to be a better uh, sponsor than, than, say, Jen Thatcher or Kevin Debs. Um, I just want to make sure that we are all practicing integrity and that, um, you know, it, it's just going to get sticky the bigger that this gets. So, Kevin, do you have anything to add on that? Look, I, I, I agree. You know, we, we're, we're amazed at the results so far, and we know that there's a few, you know, sort of speed bumps as we kind of continually talk about that to get through. The fascinating thing is if you listen to anybody that may have done multi-level prior to this, they are amazed that we at or we're almost at 10,000 people. They're amazed that certain things are occurring so fast with one singular focus, which is our product, and you know that we started the week after Thanksgiving. So right. they understand because they've been in other companies where they've had to work so hard. They're also amazed that so many people that have never done multi-level before are finding this as a, a, a fun way to work part-time into a full-time and making this a priority. So I really think you have to ask yourself and say, again, like what we said, I think on one of the previous Facebook lives, would I prefer to be one of 10,000, work through the speed bumps of this particular shipping challenge, this inventory challenge, this, uh, you know, air in the pump challenge, <clears throat> you know, the name change challenge, or would I prefer to wait until we have a million distributors and customers and everything's kind of spit and polished and, 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 you know, kind of a mature business, which kind of implies that the opportunity, a large part of it may have already gone by me. So I think everybody would raise their hand and say, look, this is a great opportunity. I'm just going to keep an open mind about what's going on and forge ahead. I'm not going to get caught right. up in the short term. And that means whether I have product or not, I'm still going to share the conversation. I'm still going to invite people to what could be better health and intended benefits for them and a business process that, largely is on the cusp of becoming a movement, a trend that we've already seen. You know, the fact that people are making between 25 and 30,000 a week, it's not a lot. It's people that have done professional multi-level before. It just tells you it's possible. It's going right. to happen. The more breadth I add to my team, the more breadth I add to my customer base, these things are going to start happening. So I think everybody can, can have a, a nice smile and, and rest and pause a little bit and say, it is so early. No, I agree. And I, I think, you know, you're touching on it. You know, our, our job as our distributors is to kind of put out fires. And, you know, I've had a lot of customers and distributors this week that are a little bit upset that product is not shipping. Um, it hasn't shipped to them yet or they haven't received tracking. Um, I have a feeling a whole lot of product is going to go out without tracking updates, um, which has happened in the past. Um, we do know it's shipping now, and I just encourage you to be positive. Um, we will all get our product, and, you know, I think we'll be laughing about this later. Um, so let's just continue, please, encouraging your team. We will all get our product and, um, you know, continue having conversations and being excited. Don't let the talk in. Sorry. There's some, there seems to be some commotion going on there at, 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 at you know, Mission Control. Is everything all right? I yeah, yeah, I'm getting vertigo. The joys from, of working at home. Okay. I, I would just add and reiterate, anybody who's ever 
had, you know, people over and had to explain something, anybody who's ever had to work in a customer service role, anybody who's ever sold anything or put themselves in a situation where they're having to explain to one another, this might by far in my 25 years in business be the easiest conversation I've ever had about just, I was, I was explaining to Emily yesterday, I went in for my physical and my doctor, I brought the bottle, I brought a three by eight card. I started explaining to her what this was. By the end of the conversation, there was no selling. It was just telling her the truth. She said, I'd like to have more information. I'd like to think about trying this myself and possibly this is good for my patients. Now, this is a, a, a traditional doctor. She didn't buy the product right there, but obviously there is no barrier to this conversation. Now, I didn't have a chance to show her the three minute video. Obviously, there's, there's an easy process that's involved here. But anybody who's had to deal with interacting with somebody else in a different situation where they have to explain something, this by far is the easiest thing. And I would just say, keep an open mind on it. It, you know, we, it feels like we, yes, what was it, Tuesday, we had the Facebook Live where we talked, or Zoom, where we talked about, you know, just kind of empowering yourself and being a little bit more self-sufficient that not every question or everything that right. comes to mind is an urgent situation. And I feel like, and I'm smiling, I feel like maybe we need to do that a few more times just before it really sinks in. <laughs> just a few no, more times. I'm glad. Just a I'm little. Glad. It's, it's good. Um, yes, I would encourage you, like Kevin. Kevin talks to his doctor and I talk to the Neiman shoe lady. But both of us had conversations yesterday we weren't expecting to have. And, and we'll both have them on our team soon. So, um, <laughs> <laughs> the Neiman shoe lady. I, I think your, your, your visit was far more expensive than mine. I think mine was covered Maybe. by insurance. I don't know if shoes are covered. <laughs> um, what else would you like to discuss? What else do you think would help the team here just to be efficient and mindful? Um, I just want to talk about making sure that you train your distributors. Anybody who you sign on, make sure you have an immediate conversation with them and that you are um, walking them through your resources in your back office, teaching them, um, you know, teaching them everything I taught you that, your distributor taught taught you, and um, you know that 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 nothing is is being lost in the chain here, you know, and that we have we have so many resources that uh, make sure that you're sharing them all with them. You know, we have we're 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 trying to hone everything that we have that we can send you that we're working on in the next two weeks um, with some people on our team and. Um, I will, Jen, one second. Um, and that will get sent out to you. Just have some patience with us. But in the meantime, you have your resources in your back office. You have our YouTube videos. You have the webinars. Kevin and I are going to do a weekly webinar. Um, what else, Kevin? Um, you know, I, I think you've touched on a lot. I think it's going back to those things. It's, it's If it doesn't necessarily hit in immediate, in, we all want instant gratification. We want impulse purchase. We want people to say, I'm in, what did I do? I'm in, you know, and I think it just takes a little bit more than that. But I think those uh, steps that we outlined and continue to re reinforce are easy to go back to. If they're for some reason, and I can't see why, in, in everybody's sphere of influence, everybody's warm leads to everybody's cold leads to where it is the Neiman shoe lady or perhaps somebody you're coming in contact with for a short period of time or somebody you just barely know let let the product lead that charge and and, and you know something we say to ourselves all the time i say it to myself all the time get out of your own way right too much fire hose too much this and that is going to overkill and people are going to get lost in the shuffle so i'll, I'll stop right there taking my own advice and heeding that to say let's reinforce the principles get into the repetition and, and keep moving forward because all of this stuff is working for you and will be taken care of. So I think Jen had a, a great question if you want to touch on it. Well, we have a couple of questions. So one okay. is Kelly Riley, um, if you will go, she asked if you have a file that we can print a card and other literature. If you will log into your back office and go into resources, um, there is literature you can print out. Also, the cards and business cards, you can order straight from the company, and they will put all your information in there. Jen. Um, okay, we're going to explain one more time about the auto ships. And, um, you know, we're not a 1,000% sure, 
um, on how this is because, you know, it's an automated system. And when we first started taking orders, when we were out of stock, they were charging for the order and then they were going to ship it out when it was um, in stock so that volume stayed the same and everything else. So we need to check if the difference between a customer and um, distributor. So with the customers, they quite possibly could get their auto ship right now, and then they could get their auto ship a week later. And with that, they'll start using their bottle now, and then they might get a second bottle. What we can do is if they are upset about the second bottle, um, you know, we can, we can send it back. But what I would suggest that we do is push out their third auto ship 60 days or 45 days or whatever it is until they need that next. And then that way, at least they're not going to run out of product. They will have their second bottle ready to use. And then we'll push out the third bottle um, when, when they exactly need it. Um, as far as the distributors that are upset, you know, the way this worked was you came in to be a distributor and immediately you paid the one ninety nine, four ninety nine, eight ninety nine. You didn't get your bottle, but you were able to start making money that minute. So we got the volume. You were getting volume, you know. And so you to to stay active, you have to have one hundred and forty points personal volume every month. So you could be getting your bottle right at the end of this, and the same thing where you're going to get your second bottle. I'm going to suggest that because you need to stay active and you, you might not have two customers to, to stay active in your personal volume that either keep the backup bottle or sell the backup bottle for 169 and, and plus shipping 175 or whatever in pocket $25, save it for a distributor that signs on and trade them their bottle out. I mean, I can't tell you how, how useful it is to have backup bottles. So, you know, there's, always a way to turn this around and turn it around for your distributors. You know, we've just had so many negative Nellies that um, I just think that you, you can put, put out the fire. I didn't know there were that many Nellies in our tree. I, that's a shame. Do we just have, do we few, have anybody named Nelly in our tree? We don't. There, there's just a few, but I just think, you know, yesterday um, just had a few texts and emails that people distributors that hadn't gotten their gel in, in three weeks were already ready to leave. And this is just such an opportunity. I cannot even imagine throwing this away for, you know, they came in knowing there was no product and, and still able to work and sign on distributors and tell people about the opportunity. Um, you know, and at 93% retention rate, it, it's, it's a pretty good chance that it's going to work for them too. So um, I think I've talked yeah. for a good 10 minutes, your turn. No, it, it was great. And, and, you know, we're on Facebook Live here. I'll, I'll let you get into the specific of your own testimony. But if I were just to take, you know, it's always it's always mindful for the people to hear this. Like, you're balancing so much, multiple businesses, family, life. And, you know, even in your own trial, you had to persevere through, through some things. So I think if at any point in time, somebody has a question of, should I continue on with this? What is my resolve? Right. Should I keep this as a priority? I, you know what? I, I would honestly look to Emily, you know, and, and let her explain to you. Like, she's even, she's, she's, she's gone through enough through this that she's having so much fun on the back end. And she's going to tell everyone, keep pushing forward. Have some fun with it. Keep an open mind. Anybody that feels like absolutely there's no reason to continue, I, I would just say have, have a conversation with somebody thoughtful that's in the business and say, I'm having this, that, and the other, and you sponsored me, why should I continue? I'm pretty sure by the end of that conversation, your mind will start to, I think, channel in a positive track and say, okay, let me just keep putting one foot in front of the other here. This is going to all be resolved, and I'm going to look back and laugh at this. So, Emily, I'll let you, you discuss a little bit of some of the things you've had to persevere if you'd like, but it's just another testament to why this is such an opportunity, and it's so early. Well, if, if you're just talking about where you go through possibly a little bit of a detox type phase. Yeah, imbalances in the hormones or the things that you... Yeah, I mean, but I struggled, you know, I had Hashimoto's and horrible migraines and, and different things that since I had my third baby six years ago. And so, you know, I came into this relatively healthy. I eat clean, I exercise, you know, wasn't really overweight or anything like that, but 
you know, hormones and things were a little bit out of whack. So uh, my first week that I was on this, I was sleeping incredible, which for me was good because I do run my own company and, and slept about four hours a night and my mind races and everything I have to do. Um, three kids under 10 and, um, you know, but about my second week in, um, I started kind of feeling a little bit sluggish and I was sleeping like I just wanted to sleep more. And I was like, oh, I feel a little bloated. I was like, oh, great. I'm sitting, sitting on the opportunity of a lifetime. And I'm the only one who's going to be fat, sleep more and exercise less. And, um, you know, and so I just persevered through. I felt like, you know, this came to me in some prayer. And I felt like this was something I was supposed to do. And, um, and I pushed through. And so I would say about seven days through, I came out on the other side and I was so glad. And I've kind of heard through that, you know, as HGH works, it, you know, it, it, you, you put it on your skin and it's out of your system within a few hours, but it works with your own pituitary gland to make you create your own HGH again. Cause it's something that my body doesn't do anymore at 39 years old, not 40 yet. Um, and you know, I think it was my body responding to the gel and my hormones kind of balancing because I have not had a headache. I mean, having suffered migraine six years, at least a few a month, um, it's been four and a half months now, not one headache. Um, mood is stable, energy's up all the time. Um, I used to have horrible crashes around three or four um, p.m. I couldn't, you know, I'd buy all the groceries. No way could I cook the dinner. I would then just door dash or, you know, whatever. But now I'm totally fine. We're doing conference calls at 9 p.m. and um, after I cooked dinner, helped with homework, been on phone all day long, still running my other business um, with my mom. And, you know, I mean, I could not do that without this. So I did know that I was really low on certain hormones. And, and so I'm going back to get checked. And, and there's no doubt that this has helped 100% because that was what was causing my headaches. And we knew it. So I haven't had to take a migraine medicine or refill any prescriptions. I'm off half my vitamins. Um it's fantastic. You know, I mean, and so we've heard, you know, a few, we've had two or three people, I think that go through, you know, I think everybody's different. And when your body adjusts, it's like when you go on some sort of a, a diet too. you know, how you have like a detox phase, a, a couple of people we've heard will go through John Lepresto talked about a mild headache, um, you know, with, with kind of a little bit of a detox phase, I would say two, three weeks in, um, so I just, I encourage everybody to persevere through because there are no long-term, you know, side effects. There are, you know, in 14 years of this product being on the market and seven years of clinical trials, there have been zero um, long-term side effects or cancer cells regrown. And, you know, that's, that's the number one question I get because people will send me articles all day long about HGH injections and, um, go ahead. No, I, I, I think that's a great point, and it highlights to your point is like everybody listening and everybody who will watch this Facebook Live, if anybody had a reason to take a pause, given what she felt in week two, given all that she's dealing with, given all the responsibilities she currently has, it was Emily. And what she did was power through it. And the, the, the other side of that is, you know, she's an ambassador on the way, a diamond ambassador. She continues to grow her network and breadth to her her line. She continues to answer a lot of questions that I'm sure, and I smile, seem somewhat repetitive. But she <laughs> does that with a lot of, uh, you know, basically style, and she continues to care about the people that are in this. She wants them to have that lasting effect. But also, once they feel the way they feel and advocate, you know, they're able to advocate for the product because they validated it, have the fun on the business side. So anything that's short term, which is an inventory hiccup, which is the things that we've mentioned, which is the days where you're like, oh my gosh, I'm not sure I'm going to win this day. I think it, you know, without elaborating too much, just power through it and elevate the question, but become self-sufficient. You guys have this within you because the product again is going to lead the charge. It is less nice. than five months. There's 10,000 people. And if it can go that easy and I'll, and I'll stop there. Cause I know we, we, we try to keep it to 20 minutes. Feel comfortable asking yourself a question like, do I know the answer? Should I go in the back office? Should I get a little repetition with this? I do feel like you're going to get through these things and look back and say, I'm glad I just persevered. Right. 
Agreed. Okay. Well, that's all the time I have. I have to go back in makeup because, as you can see, not all this is done. The HGH can only do so much for my looks. So I hate to be superficial, but I got to get back in makeup. So unless you have any other questions you guys want to ask, I'm going to say have a great day. Crush it today. You still have 36 hours to finish and win the week. So go and win the week. You guys have it within you to do it, and I think it's going to be a lot of fun.